ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by James Webb. Well, James, look, you're fighting on the 7th of March against uh, Mr. Stanton, but let's just get the elephant out of the room. What happened in the last fight, mate? <laughs> oh, I don't know, mate. Fucking hell. Um, I'm not sure, mate, to be honest with you. Because you were getting to take down. Uh, you your game plan was working, from the looks of it. You were getting success in it. Ah, it was all there, and then... Um, I don't know. There was thirty seconds left or something, and yeah. I think I was on. I was. I had the takedown through an elbow. I remember I was complaining about my gloves being held, mm. and um, then got stood up. You know, and I remember saying, "Why have you just stood me up?" <laughs> like, like, don't know. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so but, the, obviously, nah, fucking shit happens, eh? It does. That is the fight game. It's about winning and losing, isn't it? And you, you grow from your losses and uh, you learn a lot from it. And you yeah. and Chris obviously went back to the drawing board to look at the, the ups and downs of it. Uh, what did uh, Chris take away from it then, obviously? Because he would have had a third-person point of view and he would have had a, a better point of view of the fight than yourself. Uh, again, like, was, uh, we, you know, like some stuff that I have done previously before, you know, was a... I don't know really like we know we knew why you know there was it was hard it was you know that we we I don't know so we we learned a lot from it but there was nothing really on the day that we could have changed too much mm. you know maybe a bit more ground and pound we could have looked for that um but again as the fight goes on you're getting tired isn't you you know you are you are wearing down. It's hard keeping people down, you know. Um, it's very hard. People don't think that either. They think it's it's harder when you're on the bottom. It's actually really difficult to keep someone pinned down, especially yeah. especially when you get to like the second, third round when you're both sweating yeah. a lot. The, the the friction is there less. So you know, even grapple, even getting the takedown itself is harder because if you're sweating and he's sweating, you, you, they're slipping out a bit better, or they're yeah. slipping that underhook in a bit quicker than they would have done previously. Where the you know, like say the first round, where it's a bit more, you're a bit drier. So let's say, yeah, definitely. Like I, I felt I had, um, I still had the success there. You know, that that, that wasn't an issue. I just think mm. there was like you know, to be honest with you, John, I, don't, I can stand, or I can, I'm not standing. I can sit here. I can, <laughs> I can sit here right now and say, ah, uh, you know, I could have, could have uh, thrown more shots on the cage while I was being pressured like with my back against the cage mm. you're not really thinking that when there's another guy 90 something kilo swinging at yeah. you you're just gonna try and find the time to get out and obviously I didn't get enough time and that's that you know yeah, so, hey, look. One of the things I always found out, people always say, "Oh, people should just stand." Uh, people just like should throw more ground and pound. And I've always said to people, "said It's not that simple because as soon as you lift that arm, as soon as one arm lifts to throw that punch, space. that's the space they want. That's what the opponent's yeah. actually looking for. They're waiting for the. Some opponents actually want the ground and pound because that's when they get up. They don't like the pure grappling aspect because that's when it starts to get a lot more difficult because you can pin both shoulders down of the opponents, the yeah. hips can't be engaged as much. Because like you say, when you when you extend back to throw the punch, a bit of weight comes off the opponent because your kind of your your leverage goes. So yeah. it, it is a it is a hard one because like you, you have to be short and precise with a couple of shots and then keep the action going. And then obviously you've then got you got to appease the referee. Never and then yeah. it's it's a hard balance because in your mind you don't want to be thinking, oh, am I keeping the referee happy while I'm doing? You, you know, I've got to think about this savage on the ground. I'm, I'm trying to keep pinned down away from me um, yeah. it is it's, it's a horrible uh, kind of mindset to, to think I think people don't realise if they haven't done it before how difficult it is to throw ground and pound it's easy on a punch bag on the ground because that thing don't get up <laughs> it doesn't exactly so like I've had a lot of success in the gym with it you know yeah. um, actually some would say I'm the best in the gym <laughs> but um, yeah it is tough you know that's the style I like that's the style I um make my game yeah. around and um, I'll just keep filling in the holes until it, it's perfect you know and this is the road to redemption let's say to get that belt back that's the that's now that's, oh. the, that's the goal isn't it you know getting that strap back I'm not too sure about that either John if I'm honest with you um, I like the three fives mate I like yeah. um, and I've, I'm a, like not that I'm, I'm not sounding like I don't want the belt obviously mm. everyone does but that training and like, I've had it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've done it. Um, and I'm not sure I want to go back into those five fives just yet. Mm. You know, like I spent the whole of last year doing it. Yeah. Um, and it started to like get to me with the training. Like it was, 
making me not like the training because mm. like, like the training this time has been it's it's great it's been amazing because you're doing what you need to do for your free fives and fit yeah i've only just come out of a fight really I've only, whenever that was probably about 10 or 11 weeks ago but um you know you, you're doing the stuff you like instead mm. of having like three people over you for five rounds you know yeah and i don't have to do that anymore i don't have to do five lots of five twice a week with different people you know that's that was a year of that was getting to me do you know yeah, what I mean? grinding like, just grinds on you yeah and it was just... like fight camp or fight to the next fight camp and it was it was the same you know back into the five fives and um i've really enjoyed my training you know and me and yeah. chris have spoken i've just said like you know i'm not i'm not really looking to push towards the the belt anytime soon i just want to yeah fight free fives keep active and like like my style suits that as well you know like yeah. like it does i can go three rounds like that constantly pressure taking people down hold you down you know it's only when it starts to get into those later rounds you know <laughs> which it, everyone's tired by then anyway you know but no, yeah there's no one who like, walks into the fourth and fifth anyone no. above 170 no one's walking in fresh as a daisy no nah, it's gone and like yeah, and so three rounds for me is, you know, suitable, you know, um, and I like it, and I just want yeah. to get back into enjoying training, because I have to, like, like, again, like, I'm trying to, like, live and live a life in Essex, and then mm. still try and make stuff happen for me in Dublin, so I need to be enjoying that, otherwise you get to that place where you're like, what's the point? Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to do that, so, um, yeah, like, I'm just going to keep plugging away and see what the future holds, you know? Well, even if you, even if you spend this year... You know, developing and have grown again. You know, because like you yeah. said, you, you you could just maybe tighten up stuff and build on stuff with the free five minute round kind of training camp. There's a little bit more room for that development as opposed yeah. to a five yeah. five training camp, um, yeah. and and you get maybe a year to grow. Because let's be honest, it's not like you're forty and you have to hurry up and get it done. You know, you've got plenty of time. On, you know, you've got plenty of time in yeah. you. You know, so it's it's kind of thing you got to look at as well on that perspective. No, nah, yeah, no, you're right. I, I still am learning, you know. And there's certain things I want to still go back and do. I actually want to go back and, um, especially this year, go compete as a brown belt, you know. Like yeah. um, all the boys that I've competed against in the de back in the day, and they're all black belts now. Loads of my teammates are getting their black belts. So that'd be something that I'd like to get back into, you know. Like a um, bit more, like you know, like I wouldn't be looking to compete while I would be doing MMA, you know, especially when you get ready for five five fives because you're worried yeah. about getting injured but um i think i'm going to start like putting in sporadically like the odd weekend and go and compete more in jiu-jitsu you know because i want to that's where like i'm having a lot of success um still haven't found like and haven't really had any trouble with anyone in terms of their grappling skill you know mm. so um, i just want to still make sure i'm keeping on top of it you know and getting better in that area um, of my game. And it's still a competitive edge. It's still a competitive level because the guys you're obviously going to be going to compete against in jiu-jitsu competitions are still being aggressive in their in their, in their mannerism yeah. towards winning the, winning the grappling contest. But you're not getting punched. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you know. But it's, all, it's, all, like, it's, it's just good for the head as well, you know. Yeah. Like, you can um, believe in the belt you're wearing and uh, it's just good. I just think it's good. It's another way of, mm. yeah, getting getting like sharp again and I just think I'm I'm going to spend this year doing that you know yeah yeah it's definitely yeah so Jack uh, Jack Grant does that stuff as well he uh, you see him yeah. popping up doing all the tournaments and all that and just had that one against John Maguire with a, a slick arm bar uh, yeah, and, uh, to be fair I, I actually uh, think Jack's very underrated in his speech I think mm -hmm. he's uh, sick I do actually really rate him I really rate his jiu-jitsu so um but yeah, there, that's there. It is there, you know. Like he's still going out and competing and putting it out there, you know. Yeah, absolutely, and and you can see the benefits because it will transition into the ultimate goal, which is the MMA side of things. Yeah, um, of course. Sure. Your opponent, Stanton, uh, yeah. was down at the one seventy. Said, you know what? I'm not doing a cut anymore. I'm staying up middleweight, and he's doing all right in the middleweight to be division. To be fair, it seems to be suiting him just well. Um, I you must have seen his footage or fights or bottles of water. Uh, <laughs> What what have you what have you seen of him yourself? Have you watched much of that tape on him? Uh, nah, same story as like, normal, you know. That's um, Chris's job, really. Like, mm. oh, not his not his design job. <laughs> but he's got more work to do than that. But yeah, he'll he'll 
he'll be looking into that, looking for tells and you know what they think they'll do and what where they think they can expose me or whatever, you know. But um, I don't really focus too much into that, you know. Not really too bothered about what he's going to look to do. I'm going to go and do me. You said Chris there. Um, Chris announcing he's having a little scrappy do. Uh, yeah. what, what brought this on? Uh, he's been looking for ages. Like, he hasn't. Uh, there was something about him being retired that he never retired. Mm. Like, he's been looking for ages, just couldn't get the fight, you know. And, like, he went, you know, he's fine on KSW. Yeah, massive show, say, but, yeah, big show. But, yeah. You, yeah, but no one can see that, you know. You've got to download 30 apps and fucking. It's hard work, I won't lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not just not worth the hassle <laughs> yeah. you know and, and he wants people to watch him you know that's what you, you, you do it yeah. for that reason you know and he wants people that support him to be able to watch so um, it just made sense you know like get back on Cage Wars you know that's somewhere he come up with like mm. he come through with all the old guys so you know why not yeah absolutely and, and uh, he's, he's going to be a fun addition to that to that roster and and you know, Graham and Dean will get them plenty of bouts up and, and get them matched up. You yeah, know, they're, they're good like that as as they are like with yourself as you know. You know they get they get cracking matchups for everyone. Oh yeah, man, definitely. Like thinking about it, you know, like you have to go. I can only think of like going to the top level of MMA, which is the UFC, where like you're evenly matched anymore. Mm. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like same with Cage Warriors. Like Cage Warriors just putting on. Great fights, like fights that are like equal almost, you know. Yeah. Um, no one's getting wins, put it that way. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's, it's really hard to get a, a can kind of record <laughs> through Cage Warriors because they don't just do that. Ian's like, ah, they, nah, here's this nah, guy. Where's he from? Botswana or Kazakhstan or just somewhere out yeah. of nowhere. What's he like? Oh, you'll see. And there's little savages that pop up. Yeah, there is. There is. So yeah, very. Very lucky to be with them, you know. Um, like, I've, like I feel like I've gone the right way about it in my career. You know? I've fought the toughest guys always. Um, always been given like the best guy in front of me to beat, and yeah. always showed up, you know. So, and uh, how's how's the career going for the misses? With the is she signed up to you know Jay Z's record label, or are you going to be a backing singer? What's the crack, eh? Nah, we're thinking about maybe going on the Voice or something, you know. That's just... <laughs> That's just took a little. Uh, uh, that's took a little back step at the moment, you know. Uh, you can play like tambourine so, in the background. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't even got the patience for that. Like, or the probably the skill required for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. see you never know. Me. Hey, because um, yeah. Medea, uh, he um, went on, what was it called? Um, on, for, when he was in Cage Warriors. He's just got signed to UFC, but uh, when he was in Cage Warriors. What, he went fucking, he was on, where's he going? Fucking What's take me out, that's it. That's it, like, I was going to say Lighty, and I was thinking, I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah. There you go, that's it. I was going to say Strike at Lucky, I thought that's a bit too old, old and too fat TV show. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. that's not, no, 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 you can't go on that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's like, it's a bit of exposure, isn't it? I think, yeah. Uh, uh, who else? I've seen someone else do that. Something like, oh, I saw a bodybuilder go on there. He was about two, five foot two, six foot wide, little bodybuilder, and all the women were like, nah, you're all right. Because yeah. jacked as you are, that's, mate, you're only five foot two. That's not the look, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is not the look. It's not. <laughs> nah, nobody wants that. But now nah, I'm, I'm going to pass on the music career for now, you know? <laughs> for now. For now. I'm going to carry yeah. on. Yeah, like if this, if this goes all fucking tits up, then we'll. Maybe I'll reevaluate, you know. <laughs> uh, but for now, it's all right, you know. Yeah, it's, doing, so it's going doing well. well. It's doing well, it's yeah. Right, yeah. And uh, so, like I say, it's a, it's a nice fight to get you back into the start of the year. You um, obviously, Mickey, you said you want three five-minute rounds. You're looking for about three or four fights this year then, try and bang out a few just to stay around. Yeah, now. like I've been doing like, I got four in last year, so from yeah. like November. I've been getting in four because I start my year almost November. I keep fighting mm. in November, so from Radcliffe to the last fight in November was four. Mm. And then, yeah, I'd like to try and get in before Christmas, maybe another like four of these. Three, yeah. four, you know, we'll see. Whatever there is. Yeah, obviously fitness, as long as you're fit and don't get injured, it always... Little things like that can happen. Yeah. You, slip, you slip out the bathroom, go over your ankle, all sorts of stuff can happen, but as long as yeah. you're fit and healthy, yeah, if you can bang out those... 
again keeps you sharp, keeps you active, like you said before, and uh, it's also yeah. ways to get room for improvement. And you get different opponents all the time, because um, mm. that's what I mean. Ian Dean will throw different style, style, stylistic matchups to you. That's kind of what yeah. you want to, because you want the different yeah. styles to learn and grow from them. No, yeah, you do, you do. Um, you're right, yeah. Like I've had a lot of different styles, you know. So mm. um, it's, like, I've had, I still think I've had like. Like some of the tougher styles as well, you know. You got guys that are just gonna stand in front of you and try and take your head off, you know. Yeah. Like, um, so yeah, like it, it keeps you, keeps you, it does keep you well rounded, but it also keeps you like battle tested, you know. Like I said, like yeah, you're ready for those guys. You're ready for anyone, you know. Like yeah. they're they're the, they're the guys that worry, me, well not worry me the most, but they're the guys that you'd look out for, you know. Like yes, the, go, the guys that are just gonna come in and swing. Yeah, you know, they're the ones um, that keep you on your toes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Um, if you can get past a few of them, then like you're fairly battle tested. You know, like nothing's going to really surprise you because mm. they're the ones that are like, well, for me anyway. You know, someone comes out and goes wild swinging, like that's like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah, um, <laughs> it'd be nice to have a a real nice technical match with someone one day. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 never going to happen though. So. Uh, you can't. Yeah. You you can only have so much technique in a fight, you know. Yeah. But yeah. The sole purpose really is to just put your fist through the back of their head. So. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Or shin to chin. You never. Yeah. yeah. Either that's way. Uh, look, mate. I'm looking forward to seeing you back in there because uh, I, I like the way you fight. And I like, you know, and I think you're a top competitor in the UK scene, mate. Honestly, I think you're a, an absolute savage. And Thank you very ladies, much. Ladies and gentlemen, seventh of March, you can watch uh, James go up against Mickey. Uh, before I let you go, buddy, give everyone your social media, all that good stuff, sponsors, if you can remember any of them or all um, of them. And I'm just. Oh, well, sorry, man. I've interrupted you there. Oh no, it's all right, mate. I was going to say, and obviously, give a shout out to the people that have helped you in the camp. Yeah. So. Um... All my uh, social media is just James Webb MMA. Um, sponsors, um, Team KF, uh, the Irish Strength Institute for my conditioning and food prep and looking after me. Uh, Putney and Sons, Stephen Webb and Sam Roofing. We Are Mortgages, a new company right there. Um, Nutri Food, a uh, new company that I've just like looked. I've taken on board literally this week. Um, they're going to help me with the weight cut with uh, some meals this week and post weighing, you know. Um, players, always representing players. Um, I think that's me. Advocate Finance, like an old friend of mine as well. Advocate Finance. So, um, yeah, there they are. I don't know if, you know, I've just been shouting businesses at people, so. <laughs> If anyone, okay. likes this, if anyone likes the sound of them, check them out. Check them out, yeah, exactly. Anyone can yeah. help you, especially the food meal preps and stuff. Always, always good to have them uh, with that stuff, you know what I mean? Time saver yeah. as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a big key. Yeah. No, I'm, that's going to be a good one. Um, especially, it's just for, like, while I'm home here in Essex, mm. you know, like, it's, it's going to really help, you know, because, um, like, my... Uh, I don't know if she's sitting next to me, so I have to be careful what I say. But her culinary uh, skills are not that of Gordon Ramsay's. Some would say. Some some would say. <laughs> 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 we can read between the lines, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. She I'm makes mean beans on toast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly James have a belt of fight mate honestly have a good one I'll be tuning in to watch it ladies and gentlemen you can jump Thank on you very much, fight mate. pass alright so have a good Thank one you. James I'll speak to you soon take my friend. care see you soon bye bye take care